everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. So I have here in front of me, in this adorable basket, some of my favorite things. So I haven't done a favorites video in a while. I kind of touched on this the other day in um, my Get Ready With Me video, that like, it takes me a while to do a favorites video because I want to really have a favorite. You know, I try so many things a month because um, I get so many subscription boxes. And some things are great right away, but I want to make sure it continues to be great before I tell you guys about it. And some of these things in here are not brand new. A lot of them I did receive in the past month or two. Um, I'm like worried I'm forgetting some stuff because I've been loving so many things. But well, either way, we'll be talking about everything in this basket. So where should we start? Maybe I'll start with like more skincare type stuff. Uh, I've been trying so much skincare lately and I've liked so much of it, but let's see, there's two in here that stood out to me. One I've been using for months and I've been meaning to tell you guys about it because it's been pretty freaking good. <laughs> so this is by Bloom. Um, they sent this to me a while ago, um, probably in like May, so I've been using it since May, like consistently. This is the Meltdown Acne Treatment. You can see like I've used a lot of it. Um, once it did like almost spill, like just a little bit came out of it, but still like I use this all the time. So I do have acne prone skin, uh, especially, you know, hormonal acne, like around my chin area and stuff. So whenever I have any signs of a breakout starting, I just put a drop of this on and I swear like it doesn't like make my breakouts go out or go away like overnight or anything like that but it definitely doesn't make them ever get worse. Like they never get worse than like that initial like bad spot. So, and I think they do go away quicker. Uh, like I s will still suffer from acne. It's not like a cure all or anything like that, but I still have that time of month every month, you know, and stress and everything like that. So I tend to break out uh, and this has really helped calm them and not make them get like too aggressive or gross. Like. I think my acne, like, it's pretty manageable. Like, you guys have seen me bare face if you watch all my videos. Like, I definitely have some spots, but I'm, like, comfortable with it. And I can cover them up pretty well um, before I started using this. And in the past, like, my breakouts would just keep getting worse. And sometimes they were, like, so bad I couldn't even cover them at all. And they're, like, just huge and, like, white heads and, like, pickable and stuff like that, which I don't advise picking. But, yeah, this stuff is seriously so good. And I think it's all natural and stuff too. So on the bag it says, apply one drop to finger and use that single drop amongst all skin blemishes. And that is true. One drop can cover your whole entire like blemish area. Unless you like have blemishes all over, maybe another drop. But really, I think one drop will do the trick. So it has this little dropper. And it's like a light green color. And Bloom is like all natural good ingredients. I actually got a few things from them and I've loved them all, but this is my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna pull up their website and just see what's in it. I, it doesn't say on here, it did on the packaging. Oh, I might have the packaging actually nearby. <laughs> yeah, I've had this for months. I seriously kept this because I wanted to do a dedicated video and I just never got around to doing that. Um, let's see. Wow, I'm usually not like a hoarder of packaging or anything like that, but I have it here. So here's the outer packaging. So it says it's cruelty free and vegan like everything with their brand, which obviously I love. So uh, it says it's an acne spot treatment that makes pimples disappear overnight, bye bye blemishes. And I mean, they definitely go down and don't get worse, but I wouldn't say they like disappear overnight, like, but it definitely helps overnight. So the ingredients in here, all natural good stuff, which is what I love. I knew that, but I just wanted to like verify. So there's black cumin seed or cumin seed oil, rosehip fruit oil, um, tam tamanu seed oil. I'm not familiar with that one. Rosemary leaf extract, oleo olive oil extract, eucalyptus, lavender oil, lemon oil, pine leaf oil, tea tree leaf oil, clove flower oil, and blue tansy oil. Um, I know tea tree is really good for that, um, but. Yeah, all together, all these oils, like seriously do the trick and I've been loving this stuff and I can't believe I haven't told you guys yet, but here I am. <laughs> so I will link this down below. I usually don't link all the products I'm talking about, um, but I'm gonna link them down below just in case they're helpful. If you guys can let me know, like, do you want me to continue like linking things I talk about? Like I didn't link stuff in my like shop my stash video the other day cause I wasn't sure if anyone would even like use those links, but if they're helpful. Let me know, I'm gonna do it this time, so. Moving on to the next product, I feel like I spent so much time on that one. Um, the other product I've been loving is by what skincare brand? I bet you can all guess. Um, yeah, Sunday Riley. So this is the Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. 
And I love this stuff so much. So I've gotten another one of their creams. Um, so I got like the orange one. Um, gosh, I can't remember the exact name of it. But it's in an orange jar like this. I got that in my Ipsy Plus. Um, but then I got this one in my Sunday Riley box. Or I'm confusing. I don't know. But I got this <laughs> Sunday Riley Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. And I just started using this instead. The other one's a little bit thicker. I think that'll come in handy more in, like, when I'm like drier. But this stuff is amazing, works great under makeup. You can see like, I haven't had this too long and I'm almost done with it. Like, cause I use it every single day. It just feels so nice on the skin. It's not too heavy. I feel like it would work for like all skin types. Um, and one of you, Amanda is so nice. She sent me like one of the smaller sizes. Um, and I'm also going to get another one. I believe in my box relax this month. So I am set for when I travel and for home cause I do not want to give this stuff up. So on the back it says it's a lightweight, oil-free gel cream moisturizer for instantly glowing, dewy skin. Uh, so it has two different types of hyaluronic acid, so it moisturizes your skin. Like it seriously is the most moisturizing, lightweight, like I almost said foundation, <laughs> lightweight moisturizer. Like a lot of the ones that are supposed to moisturize your skin are just too thick, I think, but this one isn't. I love it. Here, I'll put a little bit on my hand. Um, this stuff is expensive. It is like $65 or something like that, you know? Like, um, I'll link it below, I'm not positive, but this, it just feels so nice. And it has a light scent that I like, but nothing too heavy or anything like that. So, yeah, love this stuff. So happy I can continue using it. Thank you, Amanda, you're the best. Uh, and let's see, do I have any other skincare items? I, don't, I think that's all I pulled out for like my all-time current favorites that I really wanted to tell you guys about. Um, one is like a kind of a skincare item. I actually used this in my video yesterday, my Get Ready With Me. This is a Becca um, Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. And you can see I already hit pan on this. I got this actually free um, from BoxyCharm because someone used my link to sign up. So um, both the person that used the link and I got this as a free gift. I think BoxyCharm started doing that. Like the free gifts are only for the person who signs up. Um, but I was lucky enough to get this and thank you to whoever used my link. Uh, but I wasn't sure like in person. I think this really does work So I just dab it on like is like my primer step So when I'm using my face primers, I'll put this under my eyes a primer at that time And I swear you can see like an instant difference and I asked you guys and one of you agreed like you could see the difference on camera So that like really made me feel like it is working. So like I felt well enough to share it with you um, So it's just like this you just put your finger in it. Um I always wash my hands before I do my makeup. So like the hygienic part of it, like if you wash your hands, it's okay. But I just like rub my hands through it and I just pat it on and my under eye bags, I mean, they're still there. I can't get rid of them. It's like a genetic thing, but they go down and I look a little bit more rested. And I've heard people that have like darker under eyes. Like I don't really get dark. I just suffer from puffiness, um, but I heard it works really well for them too. So I've been loving this. Wow, I actually have two things from Becca in here today. I'll just move on to the next Becca product since I just said that. And I think you guys all know I've been talking about this and I like it. And we all recently, well, not all of us, everyone who gets uh, BoxyCharm recently got this. This is the Becca powder. So what's the actual name of this? The Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this is like such a unique powder because when you apply it, it has like this cooling effect. And like feels kind of wet but it's not it's really cool um so i like how it has like this outer container so it's like double safety like um but it says keep me closed keep me cool so i guess that helps and there's like a little mesh um thing under there so i use this both under my eyes and on my face and i've been really liking it i think it works really well i've heard some people complain that they don't like it under their eyes but i have no trouble with it i've been really liking it it works well as a, a powder and it just feels cool. So I really like this. I'm really getting into loose powders. I never really use them until now. Like I have um, at least one or two others, but I haven't gotten into them yet. So this is like one of my first like loose powders. Um, besides the Derma Blend one that I panned, um, but that's not cruelty free, so I no longer use that. And I did like this one, but this is like the first one since then that I've been really liking. And yeah, you guys have to let me know your thoughts because I know a lot of us probably have this now because of BoxyCharm. Do you guys like this as much as I do? And I have two foundations to talk about. One um, is new, uh, which I've reviewed a couple of times that I received in my Ipsy Plus. And this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with SPF 50. Um, and I have it in the shade Light, which I think is just like slightly too dark, but I can get it to work. 
But this is seriously like pretty much full coverage and it's a moisturizer. You can just apply it with your fingers like a moisturizer. If you guys missed my get ready with me video I just did, I'll link that down below um, so you guys can see me use this and see like it actually in action, like how it covers up my skin. Like without any um, foundation or makeup on, I'm very like white and red looking, like especially if I rub primer on my face, like I don't have an even complexion, like my skin's not textured or anything like that, but like I, I'm pretty red and uneven tone and this is a tinted moisturizer. Seriously, it makes my skin look great. It doesn't look cakey like other full, like actual foundations, um, full coverage foundations make my skin look. It looks like dewy and refreshed and healthy and the SPF factor of it is amazing. So I've been loving this stuff and this is actually going to be on sale soon for like 50% off in the Ulta 21 Days of, um, say 21 days of beauty sales is that the right term for it i never shop the sales i decided i just get all my makeup from subscription boxes like i don't need anymore so i never do those sales but if you guys are interested and you guys didn't get this in your ipsy plus i definitely recommend it especially at half off so i'm not sure what day of the sale it is um but i will link this like from the ulta page down below and i'll also um type in like what the day of the sale is if you guys are interested because i mean one of you guys are so sweet and you're sending me one in a lighter shade for me to try, but if you weren't, I'd probably buy one. So thank you for helping me save a little bit of money, but if you guys aren't as lucky as me, you can still save 50% off. So I never push sale things, but I'm just saying this one will be on sale soon, uh, and I love it. And the next foundation I am going to try is probably the only one I know the actual price for, by the way. I'll try and leave all the information. I'll at least leave the links that will give you the pricing for everything else. But this is the $9 stick foundation, which I used to love a lot, but I kind of forgot about until recently. I have it on my face today. And this is a Makeup Revolution, uh, their Fast Base Stick Foundation. I have it in F4. I love this so much. I've actually been wearing it a lot lately um, in like most of my videos because I feel like it gives me full coverage and it's a stick foundation. It's so quick and easy to use. I just like swipe a little bit on my face and then I grab my Sigma F80 brush and just rub it in. It's like so quick and it looks so good. Um, and it is only $9. Did I say that yet? This is a $9 foundation that I'm in love with. Like, I am so happy. Like, I just pulled it up to see how much I have left and it's not much. I have it in another shade, so I got it like about a year ago probably. I got it in F4 and F3 because I wasn't really sure what one was my like tone. I was in Ulta and I swatched it and it was just so cheap so I got two of them. Um, and I think F4 works a little bit better for me. I think F3 is like a little bit more pink undertone but I'm still gonna use it when it's done and then I'll go out and buy another one for $9. Like this stuff like is so good. And I'm not the only one that raves about it. I've heard a lot of other people so, and it's not new. It was new like a year ago or so. Um, but I've been using it a lot lately and I can't get enough of it. It makes getting ready so much quicker. Like I don't need to wet my sponge or anything. I just put it on and it's so quick. So yeah, I've been loving this so much. Uh, one thing, it's broken. I mentioned it the other day. I might have mentioned this in a past favorite video too. I can't remember. I know like in the past I did rave about it at some point and I'm assuming it was here on YouTube because you guys are who I chat with about makeup. <laughs> but this is by the Beauty Crop. This is the Beauty Crop Sardinia Sand Bronzer. I got this. I want to say an Ipsy glam bag and it, it's broken obviously but I've been using this every day because it's in my shop my stash I have it on today I just think it is such a good bronzer I've never heard anyone talk about any makeup from the beauty crop honestly but I've been loving this I think it like just matches perfectly like if you're like have a similar skin complexion to me you might really like this because I feel like when I try like other hyped up bronzers like the hula bronzer or like things like that they're just like too dark or too warm or too orange mostly. Like this isn't orange at all. I've been loving this. I was saying yesterday that I think I might just like continue using it till it dunks the caps off. That's like my excuse. Like just keeping it in my shop, my stash instead of switching it out because I just really, really like it. Here, I'll swatch it for you guys. So that is a swatch of it. Like clearly you don't apply like that much on your face like that thing, but and I rub it out. It just looks so natural and nice. I love this stuff. Um, one thing I've been loving, it's not really these specific products, even though I do love these, but I've been loving like th this summer, like this month especially, using a lip liner with a lip gloss and like not using like lipstick. I think it just 
works so well and like the lip liner kind of like just stays and like fades gradually like if you're eating even like I just make, think it makes your lip products last so much longer like I never really used to use lip liners and I am totally on the lip liner bandwagon um today I have that Steve Laurent one I used in my get ready with me video yesterday um but in this basket I didn't throw that big in I have the um Curl Lagerfield and Monaco um lip liner I've been using this like the days I don't use the Steve Laurent one I got this in the in last month's glossy box and this gloss I've been loving this is a full size and I remember I think I said it incorrectly in a recent video um, but I, this is like the one full size item I've ever gotten from Birchbox. You guys know Birchbox is all like sample size pretty much. But this is the Laura Geller Nude Kisses Lip Hugging Gloss in Coastal. And I use this almost every day. This is like my favorite nude gloss. And I just use this pretty much over all of my lip liners that I have. Like what I'm really focusing on too. And I just love how it looks. And like when, like I like how it looks on camera. But like when I go out and do stuff like sip coffee like sip a cocktail or something like I feel like it I still have pigment on my lips I think it's mostly due to uh the lip liner but then I can easily reapply gloss when I'm out and about or at home or whatever like you know and it looks so good so I'm just been loving this combo nothing new I'm sure everyone else has been doing it for a while but for me it's a new like application technique like usually I use lipstick too like or a, like no lip liner but now I'm all about the lip liner and gloss like love it I just have a couple more things to talk about um, one, um, this is something that grew on me, but that's kind of typical of mascaras. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I've been using this every day pretty much since I got it. I got this in my Ipsy Plus. Um, I love this mascara. At first, I wasn't impressed. I tried it on camera, and I was like, you know, I was like, what? This doesn't make my lashes look that different. And it doesn't make me look like I have lash extensions. I have it on now, but my lashes are so tiny and so blonde. I think they still do a great job at how they look, but the best part about this mascara is that it doesn't smudge at all. It doesn't like, I don't get like little flakes or anything like that. And when I go to wash my face at night, it just comes off so easily. I don't get like the raccoon eyes and stuff like that. I don't like clean my face thoroughly and then wake up in the morning and still have black on my, under my eyes somehow, even though I wash my face. Like that happens to me with like every other mascara. I don't know about you, but I've been loving this stuff and I'm so grateful that my friend Nikki, um, Southern Mom here on YouTube sent me uh, hers that she got in her one of her subscriptions. It might have been MC Plus too. Um, so thank you, Nikki, because now I know when I finish this up, and I probably will relatively soon because I use it every day, um, I'll have another one. And I love this stuff. <laughs> okay, the last two things I have here. Um, one is like the newest thing um, out of all these items. I just got this like two weeks ago, but I love this dry shampoo. This is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, and the one I have is... um sassy and daring wild so right now i have like a headband and you can't really tell it's probably gonna make it look worse but my hair doesn't like really look dirty right i mean it looks sloppy maybe i just like threw it up but i never can go like to day three normally i can only go to like day two like i used to shower at my, and wash my hair every single day until kind of recently but now i'm like an every other day uh hair washer but thanks to this the past two weeks i've only been washing my hair every three days and i don't think it looks any worse like I, before I threw my hair up, it like felt nice my hair. Like it looks white when you spray it on, but it just like rubs away really nice, absorbs all the oil. Like I've heard people rave about this on YouTube for a really long time. And for some reason I thought they tested on animals, but on the back here it says it's vegan and not tested on animals. Like I don't know where I got the information, but like I never even tried to find it. Maybe because I said other dry shampoos from other subscription boxes, but I got this in Test 2 Beauty like two weeks ago or whatever that was. And I've used it ever since, and I am never looking back. Like, I can't wait to try other ones by them. I do like the scent of this. It's not like amazing, but it doesn't smell bad. Like, but I'm just like looking forward to trying other scents they have um, in this formula. But this is like the best dry shampoo I've ever used, ever. And I think it's like $8.50 or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly. Like, so yeah, I don't even care if I use this every day. Like, uh, if I fly through it, which it still seems like there's a lot in it. This is a big bottle, like head test, bigger than my head. Um, 200 ml, 6.73 fluid ounces. Yeah, I can't wait. To, I'm totally getting more when this is done. And I rarely repurchase things because I get so much stuff coming in from my boxes. But I know for a fact I will buy another Batiste uh, dry shampoo because it's seriously making my life so much easier. Not washing your hair makes showering and stuff and getting ready so much quicker. Like. I just love it and my hair actually feels clean sometimes when I put like a lot of product in for a few days like 
lot of dry shampoo by the day three and stuff it just feels like itchy and dirty like i feel totally clean and nice right now like i love that stuff <laughs> can't get enough of it um and the last item i just threw this in here because i've been loving it i've talked about it before um but this is the arizona perfume by proenza schuler this stuff smells so good Oh, you know, I should have grabbed something else in here that smells really good. That just reminded me. It's my all-time favorite, but I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, this perfume is amazing. It's kind of expensive. Um, they have it in multiple sizes. I don't know if it's cruelty-free, to be honest. So I probably, it probably isn't. Most perfumes aren't. Um, but until this is done, I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. I used it all the time. I sprayed some earlier when I was, like, gathering this stuff together. But I'm going to spray more. It just smells so amazing. And it's perfect for like every day. It's not like not too strong, but it smells so good. And I get so many compliments on how I smell. Like, and I this is pretty much the only perfume I've been using. I love this stuff. Um, like I said, it comes in multiple sizes, so you don't have to like splurge and get like the $180 bottle or something. I got like the middle size one. Um, I used my Birchbox points on it, so I really didn't actually pay money for it. But if I did, I think it would be like $70 or something like that. Like, perfume is an investment, but I've been using it every day for like months. Like, I got this in a Birchbox haul. I'm sure I filmed it like probably four, five, six months ago. And I've got a lot left. And I use it a lot. <laughs> it's so good. Um, the other thing, should I go grab it or just tell you about it? Yeah, I'm going to go grab it one sec. I just had to go into my shower and grab this. When I said smells good earlier, I remembered this is my all-time favorite body wash and probably will continue to be. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I like shower and I just feel so happy. Like, this sounds weird, but sometimes I'll be applying it and I like break out into song. Like, I'm so happy. I'm like, this smells so good. And I sing something weird like that. Like, about how good it smells. It just smells amazing and it makes me feel so good. And everyone wants to like feel nice after they shower because a lot of times you're showering because you have to like go to work or go do something you know oh man it smells so good I don't even want to know the price of this because I'm totally gonna get it um I got this as like a duo set in the past fab fit fun like not the most recent one so like the summer one it came with the jar of the bone bone cream it smells similar to that but I think better mm. but it, it makes my shower so much more enjoyable it makes me smell really good makes me sing. <laughs> I, I'm a weirdo. I break out into song like to my cats all the time anyways, but I love this stuff so much. Seriously, I would recommend this over the Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream. Um, I think is the right way to say it, even though both are amazing. But like this stuff smells so good. It moisturizes your skin really well too. And the smell doesn't go away instantly. Like you still have that like smell on your body. Like I think I put lotion on, but I don't know if I could smell it. I showered like a few hours ago, but... And I just spray perfume on myself. But you don't really like have to spray perfume. Like this makes you smell so good. And it's a big bottle. How much is in here? 385 mLs or 13 fluid ounces. So I'm probably about like halfway done or something like that. And I'm gonna have to re repurchase it because I love it so much. Like so much. But <laughs> so that is everything um, that I'm loving right now. I feel like I might be missing other things too because I've been loving so much stuff. But these are things like that popped into my mind right away that I've been wanting to share with you guys. Um, some I've already shared with you in other videos, but maybe you missed those. But yeah, these are my favorite things. And I decided I wanted to throw in like what my favorite box of the month was or like the previous month. So um, I was thinking about it. Like what was my favorite subscription box in August? And like naturally I just think of like my beauty boxes like let's get real like that's where my passion is that's what all this stuff is is like beauty and skincare and stuff and I recognize there is a theme a lot of my things I got were from my ipsy plus like getting a foundation just like made my day I love that I love this mascara um, I think overall August was a really great month for subscription boxes like I got this great Becca powder from BoxyCharm. Like, I got a lot of good things. Um, I got this from, I guess this is technically technically from a September box. But, uh, yeah, I think I got a lot of amazing things in August. So it was kind of tough. But the award this month for best box of August is Ipsy Plus. Which is great because the month prior, I wasn't really impressed with my Ipsy Plus. I was, like, kind of like, is this really worth it? Like, you know, I just... I didn't get that like exciting like feeling like I do often with boxes like I didn't like feel better and like so excited to use my new things afterwards but this month 
it totally changed it for me. Like I love, loved my Ipsy. I love my regular Ipsy. Soon I'm sure I'll love my Ipsy Ultimate. Ipsy's just gonna be taking all my money, but if it makes me feel this happy, then yeah, Ipsy wins. But you guys have to let me know who or what box was your favorite subscription for August or like in general, like I love to talk boxes and beauty and all that. So please leave a comment down below and thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.